I got a question on my YouTube channel and the question was um, why in some circuits on the internet the output uh, electrolytic capacitor is bypassed with a non-polar capacitor. Here you can see the schematic and I found that a very interesting question. So I made a test circuit and I connected the uh, non-polar capacitor here parallel to the output capacitor and that's this capacitor. This has a value from a 2200 microfarad and the non-polar capacitor has a value from 2.2 microfarad. So I want to demonstrate the effects now as far as possible. I connected an audio generator to the input from the amplifier and with this knob I can set it to different frequencies. So the first frequency on which we are going to see what the effect is, is um, 200,000 hertz. This is the frequency and now I have connected the bypass capacitor and now I remove the bypass capacitor. So there is no difference. Now we change to a lower frequency. The bypass capacitor is now connected. This is the time base. I now remove, remove the bypass capacitor. There's also no difference. This is approximately 2000 hertz. Now the bypass capacitor is connected and now it is removed. And finally, this is approximately 20 hertz. And now I connect the bypass capacitor and now I disconnect it. So there is no visible effect on the frequency at all. I had already expect, expected this, but um, I wanted to do this test. So I think it makes no sense to bypass an output capacitor with a non-polar um, capacitor. And the reason is, of course, that this capacitor, capacitor has to uh, transport current into the uh, loudspeaker. So, in fact, this is a very low impedance circuit. And on low impedance circuits, there is no effect from uh, small uh, non-polar capacitors. Um, and then I mean in this case, not always, but in this case, because here a current is flowing and the only thing that this small capacitor does is to add something to this uh, 2200 microfarad capacitor.